York has always held it down for Smash. So good to be back in this venue, man. And they got the piano. You already know I got my hands dirty with that. <laughs> but right now, we're about to see if Riddles can get his hands dirty with Palutena. That's all it comes down to in this matchup. Can he get in on Jen, get those zero to death started, and just keep the damage output flowing? Otherwise, Palutena is pretty strong against Kazuya. Most definitely. And Palutena gonna. Oh, well. Uh, I I'm lied. <laughs> I'm actually well, just lying to you guys. <laughs> if you're dropping stocks like that, it's gonna be pretty hard. But Palutena, again, for Jen, you need to keep Kazuya up in the air as much as you can. We saw them doing a really good job of that in the opening right there before they, unfortunately, SD. We because as soon as you let Kazuya touch the ground, you're going to take 44%, and that could have been a lot more if Riddles didn't drop that combo. Man, go so far. Ooh, Jen nice. fighting back pretty well, though. Yes. Got Kazuya upwards of 100 here. Rage Drive's going to hurt, but it's not quite going to kill unless it's unless... in the corner. He's alive right now, I okay. think. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I was scared for a second, I... man. You never know. <laughs> the thing is, with that Rage Drive, you never know. Even at, like, 20%, like, you know it's not going to kill. In the back of your head, you're like, maybe... Maybe you will. Gives you that fake ass kill screen too. Oh my god. If you're the game. one on the other side of that, your heart is pumping. Even at zero percent, but there we go. We saw Riddles take off another stock right there. A quick two stock lead for them, especially after that uh SD from Jen. Almost got a bit of a read there off that throw. Couldn't quite get much off of it. And there there we go, Riddles finally dropping a stock right there. Yeah, pretty far ahead at this point yeah. in the game, but I don't know. Maybe Jen could get some magic to Start Dude, happening I here. Oh, ah, ah. I don't know about that. Oh, God. Automatic tech chase. Yo, how do you know which way he was going to wake up? Oh, it's almost <laughs> like this guy turns himself around. Oh, my God. Doing and the yeah. goddamn hokey pokey. <laughs> and that's what you can't give Kazuya, and specifically the young man you see on the screen, Riddles, Kazuya, the best in the world. Any openings, like I said in the beginning, if you're Jen, you got to keep Riddles up in the air as much as you can because the second Kazuya's two feet touch the ground, your stock is basically forfeit, like we saw right there. One chance equals one. One kill. Yes. That's how Kazuya is. So yep. you have to just deny him that over and over again. Jen couldn't quite do a good enough job of that in the first game. Let's see, though. Maybe he could fire back for New York, tie this one up. He does have a, uh, a pretty good record against uh, fighting Kazuya, I would say. Okay. Actually, I don't know, man. He did lose to Wilds at, at Glitch. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> my boy might have to hit the lab in this match a little oh, bit. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. But he does know the matchup for sure. So yeah. I think he's got it in him to take Riddles down at least one or two games. At least. But there we go. The Hell's Gate coming through from Riddles. Not going to be enough to get a KO. Edge guard opportunity here for Riddles. But you know what? Just letting Jen back onto the stage just so he can do that to him and come back. I am not finished with you yet. And this might be... Okay, who? It's like, yo, Paulo, I got something to tell you. Uh, oh, I forgot. Oh, never mind. I just remembered. Up smash. There Goodbye. It is. And right now, Riddles got that rage drive. And no, no longer has it as we see Jen take that stock. And that's kind of bringing it back to the point I said, if you're Jen, you got to keep them up in the air as much as you can because that's strong. And, and oh, come on, man. Now I have rage. Forget, for, for, forget everything I just said. <laughs> Riddles is just broken. Riddles I, is broken. I can't believe that <laughs> killed so, so early. GG's. Oh, no. GG's. Hey, how fast was that game? A minute? A minute and one sec? Jesus. <laughs> hey, wow. What, the thing about Kazuya, as much as I want to sit here, and be analytical and talk about all the things Jen has to do to win. You could give it to me straight, Beast. It doesn't matter once you get punched. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. You get punched, but it, it doesn't matters. matter. The great Mike Tyson once said everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yeah. And I feel like that phrase just embodies everything that Kazuya is. Every time he punches you, it's square in the jaw. Every time. He's not hitting anywhere else. He's trying to <laughs> give you a very large surgical bill. Oh, man. In that game one again, about a minute. Let's see if Jen could come back. Every time I see that grab, I think it's going to be a stock being lost. But good job, Jen, breaking out of it, getting a couple nears right there. But still, 54% already, Max. Yeah, even just hit for hit, yes. when he doesn't get the zero to death, Kazuya still does put out crazy damage. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Palutena can too, if the combos get started. But yep. Kazuya, just a little bit of a weird weight class to combo, I'd say. Sometimes yeah. he's like too heavy for your regular stuff to work. Mm -hmm. Jen drops oh. a big opening right there, and he's going to lose a stock in the and process. 25% really? on reels there, too. Yeah, just running him down here at this yeah. point. 3 0 on go. the way. Okay, there we go. Jen is exactly what you gotta do. Push him off stage, keep him up in the air as quick as you can. Yep. Okay, no follow up there off that. Oh, no, we're still going. This is exactly what you wanna do. You wanna keep Riddles on guard, keep him on this ledge, and just keep him in the air as much as you can. Because again, I keep saying it, as soon as this character touches the ground, your stock might be forfeit just like that. Nope. Good job, Jen, breaking out of that one. Oh. And a back throw. Nice, nice, nice. All right, tying up the stocks here. Still a little bit of a chance. Yes. Only about 70% down. Maybe getting something started here off this explosive flame. No, Riddle's actually able to air dodge out. 
No nope. combo there for Jen, but there might be a combo for Riddles. Nope, not quite, though. Not dropping that combo right there, giving Jen a new lease on life. Are they going to be able to take advantage of it? No, good laser to kind of give you uh, give yourself a little bit of room to get back on stage. And now we're going to see the up B. Oh, no, the up smash coming through from Riddles. Now a stock away from a very fast 3-0 over Jen right here. Yeah, this one's a little uncomfortably quick. I feel like, you know, we just got started with the top eight, right? <laughs> How is this set already about to end? And Riddles right now does have that rage drive. It's going to lose it in another 30 or so or 20 or so percentage. Needs to take advantage of that right now. And I think we're nearing the percent where it might actually KO probably around that 65 to 70 percent mark. Does lose it right there. So that's not going to be a factor anymore, at least for this stock. But the thing about Kazia is that they don't even need that rage drive to KO you at a ridiculously low percentage like we've seen so many times from Riddles. Yeah, one downside here for Riddles, though, is that his regular rage might actually mess up some of his combos here. Yes. You see him settling for just a forward throw, take the stage positioning. He's going to have to figure out a normal way to kill Jen. No yeah. rage drive, no true combos into anything too bad other than, like, electric into up B at those higher percents. Mm -hmm. And 95%, I think we're probably going to start to see those electrics into up Bs coming through. Yeah, we're seeing those... Uh those wind fists coming out right here. Up smash trying to get a hard read. Riddles is trying to read a jump in or something like that. And Jen, again, if you bring it up, this is exactly what you need to do. But Riddles breaking out of that near train right there. Yep, just the air dodge back to stage. Oh, a little bit greedy, but just knowing that Jen wasn't going to call him out in that moment, he's trying to do safe follow ups, right? Not looking for those big reads when he's down this hard. Yes. Yeah, and Riddles being a bit more patient right here. Oh, up air, off up the air instead of back air. Yeah, I don't know if that was a missed input or whatever the case was, but I was expecting that back air to come out too. Might have been to cover all Trump DI, but yeah. either way, still not how you're going to finish this match off. Jen with the chance is dangerous too. Okay, yeah. you're still in the air. Air dodge, break oh, trap, but no, the down B with the super. Oh, oh my God. Somehow still surviving. Rage is still active, so you do have another one of those if you want to pop that out. But oh. Jen has a chance. The teleport using the armor on the back air. Just to beat the jab out. Oh, and he lands the punish. Yes, Town and City. Small side blast zone. Yes. Going to contribute to the kill right there. Kazi is so heavy, man. Yeah. It's hard to tell if he's actually going to live or not. But For sure. in this case, Jen puts himself on the board. Keeps the set going here. 2-1 in Riddle's favor, though. Yep, Jen avoiding that 3-0 from Riddle's. Definitely a big improvement from those first two games. Obviously, SD in game number one. Game two was a basically a, basically made a cameo. Was here and right. kind of left a quick three stock with then Jen. Again, one of the best players in New York for a reason. Makes those adjustments. And like you said, has some Kazi experience as well. So kind of knows what to do. Knows the adjustments to make. And we saw that pay dividends for them right there. But again, this is Riddles at the end of the day. Sometimes it's just too little, too late. And you know what? Having to come back from a 3-0 against, what, a top 5, top 10 player in the world. Not an enviable position for Jen here. And not just the best Kazi in the world, but the best one by a long shot. It's, too, not, even, right? it's not even close. It's not close. Riddles is just so dominant with this character. Yeah. And... For Jen to get through him, I'd be very impressed. It sure. looked pretty unlikely throughout this set, but he's starting to fire back, actually taking a bit of an early lead off the heels of that one game win. Yes. So let's see, maybe Jen could turn it up, bring this to fifth. And you know what, doing a fantastic job in the opening here of game number four, a quick, what, 50 or 45% or so lead, and keeping the pressure on Riddles right now. Riddles has been in disadvantage for what, 20 seconds straight it feels like? Oh, the reflect. I forgot Palatine even had that move. <laughs> I will be honest with you. But here wow. you go. But again, the thing about Kazuya, unless you're up a stock, you are never really too far ahead where this character cannot come back. Does lose that rage drive right there, but you know, we've seen it so many times with Kazuya. Does not need that rage drive. One electric is all it takes, or oh. a jab from Palutena is all it takes to take that first stock for Jen, that ever important first stock. And you can see Kazuya's weaker disadvantage stay at play throughout the rest of that yes. stock, right? Jen just got a couple openings going, took him pretty much all around the world on the stage. Like he's doing it again right now, oh a full goodness. stock lead. Okay, Jen really back in this one. And that's like, what, 84 off basically one interaction, just keeping Kazuya up in the air, which is what I keep repeating myself. That is exactly what you need to do. And we are seeing that, seeing that pay off right now for Jen. Might take a stock, back air, good DI there. From oh, Riddles, probably gonna he has no jump. stage. He has no jump, I wonder if Jen knows that. Oh, okay. oh. Tried to stall out with the laser, didn't make it back, but not gonna be enough, right? No, not gonna be quite enough just yet. It's still scary, man. Terrifying. Every time Terrifying. you see that. And you know what? It's still dealt enough damage for that to kill on the ledge trap yeah. right there. All right. Riddles down but not out by any means. He's going to have to get this done with Rage, though. Yeah. And yeah, you see him selling the combo early, right? Just yeah. tap out. Don't overextend. Go for what you know will still be guaranteed. And the crazy thing is, despite that not being, you know, the Kazuya combos we're used to seeing because of that Rage, that was still 50%. 
And it's yeah. like, I've watched so much Kazuya that I should be used to this. But every time I see this character rack on damage, I'm just still shocked. Right, and it's a reliable 50% too, Incredibly. right? You don't have to vary the combo all that much. There are definitely some intricacies to how you got to follow up with this guy, but like something like that, if you know you don't get the death combo, hey, 50% ain't bad. Yeah. Oh no, uh -oh. facing right uh -oh. through the uh -oh. air, uh -oh. and that be might be one. Oh no, good DI from Jen. Barely surviving up in that battlefield quarter, but at 120%, you're not going to survive much longer here. Oh, the down tilt. Ooh, that's Ooh. not very safe, but Riddle's a little bit slow to the draw there. And Kazuya isn't the quickest at whiff punishing or block punishing. No. It could be that grab and that throw right there. Not going to be enough to get a KO, but Jen still one stock away from bringing this to a potential. Game number five will be, be able to close the stock out. And with Kazuya, you do not want to keep them hanging around for too long. Once they get that rage, once they get that rage drive, once you're at, what, 40%, 50% your stock, really in jeopardy right there. So you do not want to keep this character around for too long. This is a character you want to two stock. Oh, absolutely. You do not want to go into that like do or die situation mm. where he might get rage drive mm. exactly like this. Right there, there we go. He started glowing red. Jen, you got to deal about 30 some more damage to him just to take this away. But so far, it hasn't been too much of an issue for him. Nope. Uh oh, Riddles uh -oh. with an opening Th though. This, this might be something. This might be oh, something. Oh no. That could be. Oh no. Didn't get the spike hitbox. That would have been game if they managed to land it, but still has that rage drive. One down beat. It's all it will take for Riddles right here. Both players know that. We're seeing Riddles be patient. We're seeing Jen be patient. Ooh. And there's the rage drive gone. Into the explosive flame. Not going to be enough. Riddles, though, he missed so many attempts yep. of the rage drive that he's going to lose it even before 140%. Jen taking oh. full advantage of that here, but there's still so many ah. ways for this stock to go awry. Okay, 160. Literally knocking on death's oh, door it. and there it is the tri-state twist baby we're gonna pick up that neutral get up read with the back throw Woo. um jen bringing it to a game five hey this is an adaptive player Mies. this is a yes. guy who with a little bit of time against any opponent starts figuring out how they play makes those key adjustments and finds good ways not just to deal damage but to take stocks yeah. off of those reads and against kazi i really do feel like because the character doesn't have the best landing options is relatively heavy you're gonna get your chances to maybe do a bit of damage especially if you play a juggling character like palatina but like you said max you need to consistently be able to take stocks i have seen palatino sometimes struggle if that back air isn't quite landing but hasn't really been a problem for Jen especially in those last two games and one thing I got to shout out Jen for is after kind of getting cooked in those first two games it's so easy to just kind of deflate especially when you're playing uh -huh. a, jug a juggernaut like Riddles it's so easy to just be like okay whatever maybe I'll have a good losers run and just kind of give up right there but Jen getting better I feel like after losing those first two games and completely I feel like that was a relatively dominant game despite it really being one stock and never really felt like Jen lost control yeah, for real. I think the way he's fired back has been pretty impressive because, like you said, I mean, he, he got dogged in those first yeah. two. And I was talking about how he's an adaptive player. He didn't really get all that much time to adapt no, until the third all. game when he finally got a breath of fresh air. So let's see. So far, game five actually going slightly in Jen's favor so far. Going to catch the end of that spot dodge with the Nair. Oh, Ooh, forward tilt to pick up the pieces right there. And this is looking great for Jen. Oh, but he mm. second-guessed himself. Definitely had that read lined up. Yep, a slight hesitation right there. Might lead to a stock. No, nope. Riddle's going for some safe damage. I didn't know that's a thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Into the Sparta kick, and that's going to be the stock. That angle that that move sends you at is so disgusting. It it's really like a is. weird, like, what, like 65, like 70 degree angle or something like that that not many characters can come back from as we see a stock get taken right there for Jen, both down to two stock each. But yeah, that angle that that Sparta kick sends you at is completely disgusting. Yeah, man. Never was too great at geometry, but I do know <laughs> oh, basic yeah. math. And I can tell you that Riddles is putting up some numbers right now. 69% combo off rip, but nice. Jen with the chance to respond. I like that. Modifying the combo after two nares starts going for up airs. you got to yep. get Kazuya up. Yep. He's so heavy that sometimes hits don't send him far enough or put him into enough hit stun to get your usual combos. And again, Kazuya, for as powerful as his character is, does, like all the FGC characters, really does struggle to land, doesn't really have any good, I guess, vertical downwards hitboxes. So if a character like Palutena, you have that big up there, you have that big nair, you gotta take advantage of that, like that's like we've been saying this entire time. But right now, Riddles does have about of a 50%, or now a 30 or so percent lead, needs to make it back to stage. Side B does make it back, but does have range drive right there. If you're oh. Jen, you need to take the stock right now. Oh, putting the explosive flame right in his Ooh, path. Oh, in the read, knowing that he had no option but to air dodge to the ledge. Jen, excellent timing right there. It's deceivingly tricky to hit that. Oh, Kazuya able to tech out of the combo, but Jen still picks it up. 
Jen a stock away from completing this reverse three all over riddles and you know what if he keeps playing like this I think we might be seeing that right there but you know what you said it in the last game, Max, you do not want to be in a one-stock game against Kazuya, which is exactly what is happening right here. But you know what? How better will help open off this top eight? A game five, one-stock situation between two titans of Smash Ultimate. We're going to see who can carry it through to the, uh, to the rest of the set here. Jen really banking on that read right oh! there. He had a chance. Charging up that forward smash. Okay, frame traps though. Yo, Riddles is jumpless off the stage. Okay, Jen gonna let him back, but still hot on his trail with the pivot grab, catching that roll from the ledge. He smells fear in Riddles. If he can deal about 15% more damage, he might be in the clear here to just chip him down and win the hard way. But again, despite this percentage deficit, Kazuya does not, does not care about stocks, does not care about percentage. All they need is one opening. That rage drive is not going to be... Oh, oh it's oh, gone. Oh, it you might be gone. And so and Jen completes the reverse three. Oh, over riddles in amazing fashion right there. I'm not going to lie, Max. After game two, I thought this was going to be a 3-0, but Jen showed